Hi, I'm Ivan Sood, I am Clipper Guy, and welcome to Jatai Academy, your source for a wealth of incredible cosmetology and barber educational videos and information. Today, another video in a series taken from images posted to Instagram that were wildly popular that I believe will transfer well or translate well into live video here at Jatai Academy. What I want to speak about today is the difference between cross-cutting and up cutting when cutting clipper over comb. Clipper over comb is executed with a clipper comb and one quick point we'll make is that comb color is important. Dark hair, light combs, light hair, dark combs. Can't cut what you can't see. That's called working hard. That's called working smart. Look how easy it is to see your guides and lines and marks in the haircut. The next thing we want to take a look at are the two options between cross cutting and up cutting. We're going to hold our comb at an angle. In a previous video, we talked about the importance of not holding the comb horizontally so as not to leave lines or marks where the hair accumulates in along the base of the spine. We talked about coming in at an angle. Once we are coming in at an angle, and we also have spoken about proper thumb and finger positioning on the top sides of the handle, not on the face of the handle with our thumb so that we don't have to torque our wrist. Once we're holding the comb properly and once we're holding the comb at an angle, we have two choices, probably more than two, but two that we'll focus on. Cross cutting, as the name implies, has us cutting across the teeth in a motion that is 90 degrees or perpendicular to the teeth. The teeth are running this way, we are running this way. Notice I don't call it sideways because we're not horizontal. We're at an angle, the teeth are at an angle, and we are perpendicular to the teeth. Sometimes this technique is referred to as trap cutting, and it gets its name from the fact that at an angled position like that, the hair is trapped in the comb. And when the clipper comes by, there is nowhere for the hair to go except off. The hair is literally trapped, and the clipper and the comb as it passes, or the clipper as it passes, will remove the hair. There's no place else for it to go. That is to be contrasted with upcutting. As the name implies, upcutting has us cutting parallel to the teeth. Now we're not cutting straight up because the comb's not horizontal. We're not cutting this way. We're cutting parallel to the teeth. So we're moving upward. And the difference between cross-cutting and up-cutting is the difference between roughing in the shape and polishing up the shape. Here's what I mean by that. When we are cross-cutting, we are very direct and we are very aggressive. Everything hanging out of the comb gets cut off. So we think of cross-cutting as roughing in the shape. When we switch to up-cutting, some of the hair gets cut yet some of the hair is being pushed up the teeth, out of the way of the blade, literally up and out of the comb. So where cross cutting is very direct, up cutting is more of a polishing, smoothing, and finessing technique. So think of it as roughing in the shape and polishing up the shape. When you watch an experienced hair cutter cutting clipper over comb, you will notice that they will very frequently, very randomly, and very consistently alternate between the two techniques. They'll rough the shape in and polish the shape up. They will use cross cutting and they will use up cutting. Cross cutting and up cutting are two powerful techniques that should be included in your arsenal of skills for attacking and executing beautiful men's hair cutting. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web for all your Jatai and feather tool needs. You can shop there and you can learn there. Click Jatai Academy for lots of videos from me and many other beauty industry professionals who are providing fabulous contact content that you'd come to know and love on the web. Thanks for watching and have a great day.